Welcome back everybody. It's late winter and it's time to start getting your beds in order. This is a small patch we planted last year. I have some winter crops overwintering, some kale, carrots, and this one. This is actually all strawberries here. And I'm experimenting with um, some people call them fava beans or faber beans. I actually planted these last fall and they made it through the winter. I only covered them up when uh, it got down below 20 degrees. They've done quite well in such cold temperatures. So this is going to be an early crop of beans. And I'm going to turn this one, uh, the other half, into spinach and lettuce. Because in my area, it says to plant spring greens about three weeks before the last frost. I think I'm probably still a little bit far out from that, but uh, spinach and lettuce do very well in cold weather and they can survive uh, quite well in these raised beds, even with uh, cold weather for another month or so. So it's important to get your stuff ready now. You got to be thinking ahead always. Be prepared. You don't know what's going to come. Um, make sure that you have your own supply of greens and you're not dependent on the store or the supply chain to give it to you. I'll show you what this looks like once I do a little work on it. This is a potential site for my summer garden. That's about probably 200 yards of power line right away. It actually happens to be um, also the boundary line between my neighbor and I. And I talked to him about uh, maybe doing a community or a joint venture here and planting crops. We can plant a lot of crops here, but it's going to take a lot of work building beds or uh, bringing in good soil. So I'm always thinking ahead. You know, I've got my early spring crops planted. I encourage you to do the same. That way when, uh, you know, prices continue going up or maybe there's a shortage, I'll have something for my family. And now is the time at the end, latter days of winter, to plant your spring crops. They'll survive the cold nights. They'll get a good root system, and when it warms up, they'll take off, and you'll have lots of nutritious food to eat. Here's the finished product, at least for this bed. And I think I had told you I overwintered some carrots where all these little sticks are. There's carrots all around, not a ton of them. I've counted maybe 12 or 13. Also my kale back there. Uh, that'll be a, lots of kale once it starts producing. And the benefit of overwintering it, yeah, the, the cold kills it back when it gets in the heat. I mean the dead of winter, but you've got the root system already established here. So they've got strong roots. Same thing with the carrots. They've already got, um, you know, the carrots started there, see? So these will pop out and grow really fast and I'll have some early spring carrots and I've planted some more in a separate area I'll show you. I put out a row of spinach, a row of lettuce as I mentioned and that far bed I cleaned up I would say two-thirds of it I'm going to plant some peas, some green peas and I'll just put sticks in for them to run on and I think I mentioned in previously this middle bed is my strawberries and um, they're all ready to go. You can see where the runners all took root everywhere. I've got hundreds of strawberry plants started all in here. I just need to come through and pull this winter vegetation out uh, that I left to uh, help protect it from the cold and insulate it somewhat. And then this whole bed um, later this spring should turn into a bounty of strawberries. So this is just uh, my early spring beds. I will show you my summer beds later that I'm going to build. And I'm going to show you another little trick that I'm adopting just to maximize my spring harvest. This is just an old broken pot of a decent size. Maybe a foot and a half of soil in there. But that is perfect for growing some extra carrots. It'll uh, warm up quicker being above ground. 
carrots go mostly straight down with a bushy top i'll thin them out and while it's not going to be you know an amount to sustain me for a long period um you know it, it's something every little piece of of um, putting things together like this broken pot that normally would just be thrown out makes a difference imagine if you did this in 10 different containers you'll have a, a ton of carrots as much as you would in a whole row in a garden so just something to think about as you're being prepared and you have things um, that are not used for you know decorative use anymore they can still be useful in your preps so until next time, God bless. Seek the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. I'm the Bearder Prepper, signing off.